and welcome to HD Movie Maker's tutorial. In this tutorial, we will show you the features that HD Movie Maker provides to help you work with video clips. Let's create a new project and add a video to it. After adding a video to your project, you will have a video clip in the project timeline. When you click to select the video clip, you will see the basic settings show up on the clip toolbar including clip volume, layout, transition, rotate, more tools, and delete. Clip volume is used when you want to change the audio volume of the clip. You can change it by dragging the slider left or right. The value shown on top of the slider when you hold it down indicates the multiplier of the current volume compared to the original volume of the video, ranging from 0 to 2.0. Setting the slider value to larger than 1 will increase the clip's volume. Setting to lower than 1 will decrease the clip's volume. And setting it to 0 will completely mute the clip. Layout is used when you want to zoom your video to fit or fill the whole video frame. Or to apply simple photo frame effects to your video. Transition controls the transition from the previous clip to the current clip. There are over 30 transition effects that you can choose from. HD Movie Maker provides simple transition effects such as fade or wind to more complicated effects such as cross zoom and polka dots. Rotate is used when you want to rotate the video clip. Each time you press the rotate button, the selected video will be rotated 90 degrees clockwise. If you want to delete the video clip, simply click on the delete button on the clip toolbar. Now let's go to the more tools. If you click on the more tools button, you will see a menu that provides split video, trim video, enhance video, text overlay, and all settings. If you want to apply effects, such as slow motion or enhance, on separate parts of your video, you need to split your video into appropriate parts first. And if you want to cut out one or several parts from your video clip, you can use the trim video feature. If you want to apply effects, such as sepia, grayscale, or to change the settings such as saturation or brightness of the video, the enhance page is for you. And the last menu is all settings. This is where you can change general settings of a video, change transitions, apply photo overlay effect, and apply sound overlay effect. Some settings in this page overlap with the basic settings shown in the clip toolbar to provide you with a more convenient place to do experiments with your video clip. General settings of a video clip includes fast or slow motion effects, current clip volume, and video layout. Fast and slow motion changes the speed of a video clip, ranging from 0.25 to 8.0. Click on the drop-down menu and select the speed you want. Next tab you can see is Transition. Transition in the Edit Video page is no different from the transition in the clip toolbar in the main screen, offering over 30 transitions in total. Next is Photo Overlay. This is used to add and adjust our built-in emoticon or your own image appearing on top of the video clip. Last tab is Sound Overlay. You use this to add short sound effects to your video. When you're done, select OK to save the video clip. Select Cancel to discard all changes. That's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching.